let's talk about sound and how it influences our health. Our cells seem to hear sound. It's not just our ears that are hearing sound. Recent research found that cells respond. They change their genetic expression depending on the sound in their environment. We know that sound has a dramatic impact on our red blood cells and white blood cells. The work of John Stuart Reed found that low frequency sound has a dramatic impact on the ability of our red blood cells to bind and distribute oxygen as well as the lifespan of red blood cells and white blood cells. We know that sound has a foundational impact on our nervous system and our vagus nerve. Our vagus nerve is that longest cranial nerve. It has a dramatic influence on our autonomic nervous system, our breathing rate, our heart rate, our senses through our ears, through our eyes. That vagus nerve also has a foundational influence over the state of inflammation in the body. And sound is an incredible tool to influence and support vagal tone and health in the vagus nerve. There's also incredible research out there showing that cells emit their own sound and that sound changes depending on the health of that cell. We also see that sound is being used to treat hard to treat cancers, prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer in hospitals across the U.S. and across the globe. At certain hospitals, they're using something called high intensity focused ultrasound for a non-invasive way to destroy cancer cells while leaving the rest of the body intact and healthy. Sound is an incredible tool that we have been using as humans for millennia. Ancient indigenous cultures from Egypt, China, Asia, India, throughout Europe, throughout the Americas have utilized sound for better healing, for deeper consciousness, for a bridge to that unseen spirit world. Many ancient cultures have sound as part of their creation myth, that life started with sound. We see that in some of the major religions as well. We know that sound also creates light. Those pressure waves of sound, as they hit molecules, they create inelastic collisions of the molecules, which create light. And we know how foundational light is in guiding biology. Sound is an incredible tool that is underutilized in our current models of medicine and healthcare. One of my favorite ways to utilize sound is self-generated sound. Chanting, oming, humming, praying, all of those things create sound in this resonant chamber of the body, in our lungs, in our nasal cavity. It affects the vibration of the bones. It could even impact that piezoelectric capacity in fascia. Remember that our fascia that lines our bones and acts as a web throughout the body creates this body-wide network. And just like a quartz crystal, when you can press a quartz crystal, it creates an electrical charge. Our fascia is very similar. When we compress that fascia with sound waves, it has the capacity to create an electrical charge. There is so much out there that is a non-chemical way to induce change induce and support health in the body that we should acknowledge and tend to. Sound is an incredible tool and it is a foundational piece of a non-invasive, non-chemical way to support health in the body. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.